I'm speaking from Portugal. Okay. I'm. Uh, Please uh, introduce yourself, sir. Okay. My name is uh, Helio Pereira. Uh, I'm a, a, a medical doctor. I, in fact, I'm an orthopedic doctor, but I also was a homeopath. And okay. I organize um, a course of homeopathy uh, since um, about 35 years. Uh, I call it uh, um, integrative uh, homeopathy uh, because uh, our idea is to have the different schools of homeopathy together. And uh, so we teach uh, the basic principles of homeopathy and uh, we your have, good name, please. Your good name, please. My name is Helio Pereira. I think it's on the, is written here. Okay. Uh, together with my, my image, um, and uh, I, I organize a course of homeopathy here in Portugal since thirty-five years, and uh, I also make part of um, a nucleum. Uh, we call it uh, dynamizing core, dynamizing, dynamizing nucleum, and uh, together with other friends and colleagues of uh, uh, natural therapies, like uh, acupuncture, traditional medicine, Chinese traditional medicine, uh, osteopathy, uh, phytotherapy, chiropractic, and osteopathy. And uh, that's the work we are trying in order to make it here in Portugal, homeopathy also as a uh, responsible as a, a therapy um, uh, recognized by the authorities. For the moment, uh, we we are in the law, but the law is not yet completely uh, arranged uh, with the, the details necessary for that. Uh, and so um, we are in advance place, but not yet. This is not yet uh, fully full regulated. Uh, not the regulation is not full completed, but uh, we are doing our work, and uh, we have we are in connections with the pharmacies that uh, produce the homeopathic um, remedies, and um, we develop also uh, a work together for the population. But um, things are still in a certain degree of um, of starting. Uh, and so that's it. There are also other schools of homeopathy. Personally, I have very good contacts with uh, those schools. And um, we, are, we have joined this uh, group of uh, the International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy uh, together with um, by Dr. Shaji. And uh, I'm very happy and very honored to make part of this group. So uh, I have also uh, here together with me Two other friends and colleagues. Uh, it's uh, Dr. João Marcel Caetano. He's an homeopath. He's diplomed by the International School of Classical Homeopathy, uh, run by Professor Vitulkos. And also, uh, I, will, I will have here the contribution of Dr. Uh, João Pedro Matos. João Pedro Matos is a pharmacist and he has already organized some international summits. Uh, for health uh, aging, against health aging. And he's uh, uh, supporting also um, our work here uh, for homeopathy and also for the other uh, non-conventional therapies as they are called here uh, in Portugal. So uh, this is a, a work that needs, of course, the cooperation with international leaders. Uh, and uh, this is something that uh, we are very honored and very happy um, uh, to make it with all the other colleagues, uh, homeopaths uh, in the world. Uh, Portugal has some uh, interesting uh, possibilities because we are, um, we have a geographic position uh, in the Atlantic Ocean and uh, uh, the Portuguese uh, navigators have um, uh, made an important uh, uh, contribution for the discovery of the new world, uh, but also connecting uh, Occident and Oriental. And so uh, we hope that uh, this um, historic heritage 
can also contribute for developing homeopathy uh, in the world. And uh, also we have connections here uh, in Europe. We are members of the European Union's uh, full members. And so um, we'll be very happy to make this connection with uh, the other international groups and international members uh, of the world uh, regarding homeopathy. We have also very good uh, relationship with our friends homeopaths in Brazil. Uh, and as you know, in Brazil, homeopathy is recognized as uh, medical specialization. And uh, this is something uh, that we are very proud uh, of these international uh, connections. Um, and uh, we are uh, open to develop them. So uh, taking care of our time, I'm going to pass the, my word to Dr. João Marcel. Uh, my friend uh, Jean Marcel Quetan is going to to communicate also his own experience regarding uh, homeopathy. So I'm going to pass to him. Jean. Jean, tens que ativar tens que ativar o som. Okay, now I think I, I have sound. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is João. João is the same as John in English. Uh, I am a homeopath. And um, I'm going to tell you a little, a little bit of, my, of the story of my life, why I came to the homeopathy. I often uh, say that I was born a medical doctor. And I was, in fact, um, born a medical doctor. As a child, I had a, an office set up in my room where I received my seven brothers for the treatment of the small problems that uh, were arising. Uh, life, um, or better, my ease with life, did not allow me to get to medical school. Uh, the desire was great but the management of priorities was not the proper one. I worked hard to build a successful 35 years career, but in areas uh, that had nothing to do with health. Um, but medicine was always there, latent, asleep, waiting. With the age of 49 years old, uh, more or less um, 11 years ago uh, because of some stress problems um, and because I didn't want to treat myself with uh, conventional chemical treatments I found the quantum therapy I bought the equipment and I did training to deal with it I was fascinating with, uh, with a subtle and non-invasive way of detecting and correcting uh, stress levels. I started the activity, giving consultation in health and wellness uh, clinics. But I soon realized that uh, despite the quality of the training in which the control of the equipment and clinical protocols were, were quite satisfactory, the knowledge of the human machine, of the human machine was missing. So, um, it was fantastic, but I did know nothing about, nothing, let's say. I did uh, uh, not much about the, the fantastic human machine. Uh, so um, with the quantum therapy, I found the word homeopathy. And then uh, I went to research um, its meaning. I realized that homeopathy was the therapeutic speciality that treat people as I considered a doctor should always treat. And um, as I had seen doctors treating when I was a child, uh, it was like that. I saw uh, doctors treating people and child uh, as I was there. Uh, when, when, the dream of, um, when the dream of medicine awoke, uh, awoke in me, the disease was a symptom or a set of symptoms in a particular person. 
it doesn't treat just the disease, but the sick person as a whole. I had found then my specialty and my vocation. So, um, um, so at the age of 50, I started my studies in, in homeopathy at night after working time for three years. Then I made an international master course for one year, whose final thesis deal, dealt with the team global development disorders, autism spectrum, uh, spectrum disorders, autism Asperger syndrome, and hyperactivity. Um, I did a lot of seminars with Dr. Emil, Elmut Lemon, which is a German physician and pediatric homeopath living in Portugal for more than 30 years. And of course, as Elio already said, I went to study with Professor Vitokas in Alonithus, Greece. I am going there since uh, 2016 and I am finalizing, I'm not yet uh, a master degree, but I am finalizing the, the, the International Academy for Classical Homeopathy course still this year. Um, so I am, I consider myself a classical homeopath. Um, and that's, and that's the, 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 the story of my life and the story of homeopathy, of my life with homeopathy, with this fantastic, amazing and beautiful way to treat all humanity. And for sure, uh, it is the medicine of the future. So thank you very much for having me here. I'm very grateful to Elio to invite me to this fantastic group. Um, and I hope I can, uh, I can do something for the group, for you and for homeopathy. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'm now going to pass to Dr. João Pedro Matos. He's um, a pharmacist. Uh, he's promoting homeopathy in Portugal and um, uh, he's, uh, he has very uh, important connections uh, with uh, pharmacists in the world, Portuguese speaking also. Uh, and also we have here in our meeting, Dr. Ana Moreira. She's a, a doctor. Uh, she's the president, the chairman of the society, Portuguese Society for uh, Integrative Medicine. Uh, she's also a member of this group of Portugal uh, International Forum, and uh, she has also made and uh, makes a very good contribution for the promotion of homeopathy. She has all, already organized two international uh, congresses of integrative medicine where homeopathy was represented. And so uh, she's uh, uh, from another town from the north of Portugal, and uh, uh, she will also speak uh, after Dr. João Pedro, João Pedro Matos, okay? So, João Pedro, now it's your turn, please. Hello, good evening, everyone. I hope to, to find you all in the best shape. Um, I shall say hello to everyone, in particular to Dr. Ana Moreira, which I haven't seen for a long. I hope you are fine. Uh, Dr. João Marcelo, Dr. Elio Pereira, that I haven't uh, had the opportunity yet to, to get to know. Well, actually, uh, I'm a Portuguese pharmacist, uh, like Dr. Elio uh, mentioned before, and we've been dealing in a, in a new venture uh, on the consultancy and in, in the training field uh, since 2018, actually, when we decided to, to take, um, to organize an event by the Pharmaceutical Sciences Portuguese Countries Academy, which I am the founder, and we launched um, an event uh, in order to talk about health um, much more than illness uh, in a preventive approach, uh, in a proactive approach, uh, with an integrative approach, like Dr. Anna um, will say much better than I as the president of the Portuguese Society of Integrative Medicine, as well as functional medicine, as we all um, joining all the, the, the fields of, of knowledge, of study, in order to provide to the healthcare professionals solutions that goes 
much further than the typical binomium between I'm, I'm with a disease, take your pill. Yes, I'm a pharmacist and maybe because I'm a pharmacist and that because I did my internships at the community pharmacy, at the hospital pharmacy, I realized that the, the pill disease solution, it's not the solution at all. So I'm, I'm also an enthusiast about all the matters that has to do with health. And I'm not a typical um, healthcare profile that um, is used to, okay, you are 45 years old, according to the, to the data or the statistics uh, in five persons, you are supposed to have a cancer. So it's normal. No, it's not normal. And we must be proactive. We must, as a healthcare professionals, we must maintain uh, the trust and the hope to the people that we can find solutions and that, that there is a life beyond the diseases, the pathologies, and that we can prevent it. So in 2018, we launched this event, this symposium for the, the, the Portuguese countries, um, pharmaceutical sciences professionals. Uh, and that gave me the, um, the enthusiasm or the, the challenge to do something uh, totally uh, multi and interdisciplinary in Portugal for the Portuguese and worldwide first world, I would say, healthcare professionals in order to provide them solutions that actually it's not the future, is is already the present. And um, our main focus was to 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 communicate a lot of things that the the, the clinical practice in certain fields is already doing along a lot of time, uh, but the public in general or the healthcare professionals that works in the typical uh, conventional fields doesn't have any idea about that. And one experience that I have as a healthcare professional and as the, the, the manager and the partner of the, 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 the organization company was that the scientific um, evidence, uh, we must work a lot on that. Uh, nowadays, we have a lot of studies, we must communicate science, and we must uh, be aware that the other healthcare professionals have, they have a, a huge trade-off concerning to what it's already established. They know that it might not be the best path to go with concerning to a pathology, to a, a certain kind of patients, but they feel comfortable because they are supposed to be taking evidence-based um, decisions. And I think that it's a work and a challenge that I would like to share with you all uh, with, with the enthusiasm that, uh, that I used to put in all the things that, I, that I'm involved with, that it's, it's a, a huge challenge for the healthcare professionals and the most traditional and conventional ones that for a certain reason or reasons in their lives, most part of the times, it's because of a family problem. It's because of uh, our own healthcare issue or something. We we open our our minds, our horizons, and we realize that we have a lot of solutions. That's what we are trying to do since 2019 uh, with the the brand that Dr. Elio mentioned, the International Healthy Aging Summit. Let's talk about healthy aging. Let's talk about health more than aging or anti-aging or um, statics or whatever. And let's take it from the, why not, from the World Health Organization uh, concept. Let's see health exactly with the, all the perspectives that health uh, are supposed to be dealt with. Uh, in a physical, in a social, in an emotional, in a psychological approach, and let's give people solutions. Let's not be that pragmatic in terms of following protocols and in, in terms of, oh, I'm a clinical pharmacist, so I need to do the monitoring of this certain medication to this certain type of patients, or I'm a... Um, aesthetics medical doctor, so I don't care about the cause of a certain problem aesthetically evident uh, in a certain person. Let's take it with an integrative approach, like Dr. Anna, I'm sure she will talk about it, or let's talk in, in a more functional approach in terms of let's go 
behind the symptoms and let's let's find the root cause of the diseases and try to 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 do something in order to improve that um, in the most evidence based um, line um, and at the same time obviously that that that's like everything in life that's supposed a trade off and that trade off in this situation it's like leaving our comfort zone our uh, problem solutions binomials totally solved by the multinational companies and let's do let's put the ends on the clinical practice and test essay error new test and providing new solutions and being innovative because it's for sure that it's coming from these areas that everything that has to do with the development of the healthcare uh, comes most part of the times, as we all know. And that gives us um, an additional responsibility, an additional, I would say, um, responsibility in order to put that on the field. Since we launched the first edition on 2019, the second edition, we decided that healthy aging has to do with every kind of healthcare professionals in all its main fields. So we decided to put it multidisciplinary and interdisciplinarity as well. And we decided to involve the, um, the health technicians and also the non-conventional therapeutics according to the Portuguese law. So we involved the seven um, non-conventional therapies. And as an outsider, I would say, I found some curious um reactions about it since i'm a totally uh, and independent free mind i'm not uh, belonging to any pharmaceutical company or to any approach in particular in particular I'll, I'll all i care and all we care when we do our congresses and events is to take science in its best and bring to our participants the most knowledge and the most wide range knowledge as possible. I realize that people are very focused on their fields and they overreact over the things they don't know. And I found very strange reactions to homeopathy. It's not, a, it wasn't a totally new thing, but I, 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 I had the opportunity to feel them in practice. And I realized that um, the responsibility is, is from all the, the involved people in these areas in order to communicate science and to make it possible. For the further edition. Dr. Dr. Um, Dr. Pedro, yes. um, I thank you very much for your important contribution. Uh, we will um, uh, we'll speak uh, more about this uh, very interesting, um, very important uh, summit uh, uh, congress that have been organized. And uh, I'm Thank going you. to pass uh, the word to Dr. Ana Moreira. Sure. Uh, and uh, she will also have some important things to tell about uh, the, his work. And um, Dr. João Marcel will uh, also say, will say also something. Dr. Ana Moreira, please. Dr. Ana Moreira, you have to, to activate your sound to speak. You have to take. Anna, it's your turn. We are not listening. Tens que activar aí, no? Please unmute. Please unmute, Dr. Anna Moreno. Backup team, please unmute. Era tens de tocar aí. Ah, agora sim. Sim, yes, but it was you that had to activate me. <laughs> you, you don't want me to speak. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, I was uh, caught here by surprise. I just finished my appointment, so I don't know what <laughs> I'm going to speak. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me, Elio. It's always a, a pleasure and all my Portuguese friends, João Pedro, thank you. Nice to see you all. Um, I am very, I am a very fun 
of uh, the homeopathic medicine and all the homeopathic theory. In, in reality, I started uh, studying homeopathic medicine about 15 years ago um, inside uh, a discipline that we call integrative medicine or functional medicine. So um, I have uh, some experience in my patients, in my family. I believe that um, we could um, be responsible for taking the theory of the homeopathic medicine, let us call like this, uh, to our medical students um, inside the Portuguese Society of Integrative Medicine. We try, we are trying to make some agreements with medical schools so that the, the, the last years of the medical school of the students that are going to be medical doctors could have some um, theories in what we call integrative or functional medicine, including homeopathic uh, medicine. So um, it, it I think that uh, each one of us that are here are very responsible for improving the knowing of the homeopathic because um, in reality, when we are in, in college, uh, each one of us and also the pharmaceutical um, colleagues and the medical colleagues, we never talk about this in the medical school. So I'm, I'm, I always um, say that we should do it, uh, starting it by the school, because um, if we teach our students something about homeopathy, uh, when they start their career, they at least uh, can choose if one patient talks that he made some homeopathic medicine or medication, what he felt, and not to be uh, sometimes fun of. Uh, what, what I hear from my patient is that the majority of the doctors that are in the hospital or the pharmaceutical that are in the pharmacy don't know much of this and sometimes make fun of these patients when they say they, they took some homeopathic medicine. This is very bad for us because it put us on a bad position in our patients. So um, it's very important that some reunions like these ones could, could be held and uh, th thank God for COVID, we do it all online now, so we can be with uh, <laughs> friends from all over the world in just one click. So my, what, what can I say? Um, I, I do all that I can and uh, that we could improve our, um, our scholarship, let us say like this. And in, in this field, here are some names that I'm known, like Dr. Elio is, is, is the, the person that uh, talks more in homeopathy in Portugal. I just help him a little bit now, but uh, thank you, Elio, for everything you have done from all these years. Um, so I am available for what you need me and, and uh, this is what I have to tell you. I don't know, Ellie, if you if you want me to talk about uh, something else, something. Uh... Um, thank you, Dr. Anna, for your contribution. You are also administrator of our group, so you you have also this uh, important uh, position of to invite other persons to make part of our group. Okay. We, have a, we are now we have a special group of WhatsApp. It's called uh, Portugal International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy. So, administrator, and uh, uh, you, I know we know that you are a, a very enthusiastic person. So, a lot of persons will come certainly from uh, very the, good the medical field, the, the pharmaceutical field, uh, and also from uh, the whole uh, homeopath, uh, acupuncture, uh, osteopaths, all these uh, very, very well. Very well. Let us let us improve that by the persons we know and that we are connected. Okay. Thank so, you. Uh, 
Thank you very much for your contribution and for the future also. Just uh, Dr. Jean Marcel Quetan also want to say um, some words. Uh, please, Jean. But. We are not listening, Jean. Those who need to be unmuted, please raise your hand so that our backup, backup team will unmute you, please. Please uh, make Dr. Jean Marcel Ketan uh, talk. He cannot. Jean, tens que ativar o som. Backup team, please unmute. And now? Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So uh, just to say that um, besides I, I, I belong to the Helios group uh, that uh, is promoting homeopathy and all the complementary and, uh, and integrative medicines in Portugal. I am also a co-founder of the International Institute of Classical Homeopathy, also in Portugal, and um, a, founder, a founder member of the International Association of Medical Homeopathy, also in Portugal, just to say that. Thank you very much. So uh, thank you very much, Dr. Jean-Marcel Quetan, for also for this uh, important uh, information. Uh, I think we are on time. Uh, our time is finishing now. So once again, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, also congratulations to uh, the group, the International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy. This is fantastic because uh, now we are on the 200th day, 200th day of uh, celebrating homeopathy and promoting homeopathy. Uh, it's the first time uh, in the history of homeopathy that this is doing. So uh, it's uh, congratulations to Dr. Shaji and all his team. Uh, and uh, we hope this uh, will go on uh, for the, the great uh, future of promoting homeopathy in the world. Thank you to everybody. And uh, we hope to join you uh, soon. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.